Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's tutorial, I will demonstrate how to cut and sew a palazzo jumpsuit. I drafted a pattern for this in a previous tutorial. Hi, my name is Ayo and welcome to 011 Clothing Tutorials. On this channel, I upload DIYs, pattern drafting and sewing tutorials. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. Thank you! I'll be working with the following items. Pins, a pair of scissors, water erasable fabric pencil, tape measure, four years of crepe fabric, the palazzo jumpsuit pattern which I drafted in a previous tutorial. The link will be above and in the description box below. This is the front pattern which I have already pinned on my fabric. I folded the fabric into two layers. I used half an inch seam allowance all through except for the M where I used an inch seam allowance. I will now go ahead and cut it out. This is the back pattern piece which I've already pinned on my fabric and the fabric has been folded into two layers. I use the Afani seam allowance all around the pattern except for the M where I use one inch seam allowance. I will now go ahead and cut it out. Next, I will go ahead and cut out the neckline facing using this fabric which I've already folded into two layers. So the first thing I will do is to trace out the front and the back neckline curves like this. I will make the width of the facing 3.5 inches wide. Once I'm, done once I'm done drawing out the facing, I will label the front and the back facing so as to avoid confusion later on while sewing. I will now cut out the facing pieces. These are the four facing pieces and I've gone ahead to aim the lower part of the four facing pieces. I have also gone ahead to fuse interfacing to the wrong size of the four facing pieces. This is the puff cap sleeve that I will use for the jumpsuit. I have a detailed tutorial on my channel on how to draft this. The link will be above and in the description box below. I use half an inch seam allowance all around the pattern and I cut out four pieces of the puff cap sleeve pattern on my fabric. Next, I will cut out the side pockets. I will use two fabric pieces for the cutting. I will fold the fabric into two like this so that I now have four layers of fabric. This is because I intend to cut four pocket pieces. 
So the first thing I would do is to draw a starting line away from the upper edge of the fabric. I will now go ahead to measure and mark 12 inches for the length of the pocket. I will square a horizontal line across like this. Next, I will measure and mark 7 inches for the width of the pocket. I will now draw a vertical line downwards like this. At this corner, I will measure and mark 2 inches like this. At this corner, I will measure and mark 1 inch. I will also measure and mark 1 inch at this corner. At this side, I will measure and mark 6.5 inches for the width of the pocket opening. I will now go ahead and connect all the points together like this using my free hand. I will now cut out the pocket pieces. Next, I will stitch the four facing pieces to the necklines of the four palazzo jumpsuit pieces. So I will paint the facing to the necklines like this, right side to right side. Once I'm done painting, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done. I have stick the facing to the neckline of the palazzo jumpsuit pieces. After stitching, I notched the seam allowance, then I now went ahead to understick the seam allowance to the neckline of the facing. I will now separate the front pieces from the back pieces. These two pieces are the front pieces. I will now go ahead and paint the two pieces together along the center front, so that the right sides are together. I will paint from the neckline facing down to the crotch of the jumpsuit. I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance, making sure that the neckline seam lines match up. These two pieces are the back of the jumpsuit. The first thing I will do is to stick the lower crotch end of the two back pieces, say about 2 to 4 inches upwards, depends, depending on the length of the zip or how long you want the zip to be. Once I'm done with this, I will now fix an invisible zip to the center back of the two back pieces. So this is what the front piece looks like after stitching the center front seam lines in place. I have already pressed open the center front seam lines as you can see. This is the back. I have already fixed the invisible zip as you can see. I will now go ahead to measure and mark 18 inches from the shoulder line downwards on the four side seams of the jumpsuit pieces. This is the position of the four side pockets.
I will now go ahead and pin the four pocket pieces in place. Right side to right side. Once I'm done pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance from the top of the pocket down to where the 6.5 inch pocket opening ends. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. So with the right sides of the front and back pieces together, I will go ahead and paint the shoulders together like this. Once I'm done painting, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. I will make sure that the front and the back neckline seam lines at the facing area match up while sewing. Next, I will paint the side seams together, like these right sides are together. Once I'm done painting, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. I will do the same thing for this other side as well. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. I have joined the shoulder seam lines together. I have also joined the two side seams together. At this point, you should go ahead and give all the seam lines a thorough press with your pressing iron. Next, I will join the inseam together. So I will turn the jumpsuit to the wrong side like this. I will paint in place, making sure that the crotch seam lines match up. Once I'm done painting, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. I have joined the inseam of the of the palazzo of the palazzo jumpsuit together. And I've also given it a thorough press. I've also aimed the lower part of the jumpsuit and I've also given it a thorough press. I've also gone ahead to fix the puff cap sleeve to the armholes of the jumpsuit. I've also gone ahead to create a long belt for the jumpsuit. The length of the belt will depend on what you want and of course the waist circumference that you are working with. As for this facing at the neckline, I will fix it in place with a, with a needle and thread. You can also use a hemming gum for this. I created loops for the belt 
which I fixed in place at the side seams. If you want a detailed tutorial for this, let me know in the comment section below. So that's it guys, we are done. And this is the final look of the Palazzo jumpsuit. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share this video with your friends who are interested in sewing, and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you so much for watching.